All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a SOT23 style component off of a board without a hot air rework station. You can remove some of the components off of these SMD boards without a hot air rework station. There's, uh, there's, there's a lot of components you can actually remove without it. Uh, you can remove some of the, most of these resistors. Uh, most of the two or three legger pots you can, you, can, you, can, you can get away with. But I, I wouldn't suggest doing like an IC like this or... Uh, you could do it, but it'd be a little bit more complicated or a little bit more difficult. Uh, I would just stick to two and three-legged parts uh, with your soldering iron. So with a three-legged part, what I would do is just wet the thing up with some flux. Take your soldering iron. Put some fresh solder on it. Okay, and take your wick, wick away the solder you just put on, as you can already see it's starting to move when I'm heating it, which is a good thing. Now get a pair of tweezers and hold apart like this. Now you're not going to want to heat these two components because you really can't do them at the same time as, as well as you can this side. So you just hit that and just kind of lift up on that on this edge. And you'll feel it lift. Now you can either, if you want, you can either try to get these at the same time if, you're, if your iron tip is big enough. But you could just kind of rock it off like that. It's that easy. Let's try it without flux. Let's see how, how that works out. And without adding solder. And without wicking it. Not so easy. You can do it, but it's more of a pain. So let's add a little flux. I'll add a little solder, fresh solder. Just even adding just that solder might make it a little easier. You might have to kind of go around real quick to try and get this thing off. But now you risk overheating the pads and ripping them up. But it can be done. I, I, I have found that using the new solder with some flux and the wick seems to be the best result. Let's move off to a two, two terminal component. Add a little flux. Now these kind of components can be removed a little bit easier because sometimes if you heat them, they'll just end up flying off anyway. But uh, you can you can do the wick method. We can wick one side or the other. And if you want to get lazy and you're just trying to remove the part, you can just kind of just hold the iron on top of the device and remove it like that. 